2017 for Featherstone Rovers. How does that make you feel? Ooh, second time round this, you know, and it's come a total shock, believe me, on that. I honestly thought that it could be uh, somebody else. It ain't about just about me. There's one or two lads downstairs uh, who uh, I'm involved with, and uh, I'd like to think I've won it on behalf of these lads. John, we've just seen the Player of the Year awards now. Uh, lots of accolades gone for the 2017 season. You came into it quite late. How do you feel that overall it's been for the club? Uh, obviously a successful season. Um, obviously just just we're coming in over the last couple of months. Um, I've, I've watched all the games back, and you know there's some. Uh, Deserved accolades going out tonight, especially Josh Castle there with, with his awards. He's had a fantastic season coming in from the amateur game, so hopefully he can kick on now to next year. And there is some quality and talent, as we've just seen from the highlights of the season. You've retained quite a, a lot of that talent for next season. Is 2018 about building uh, from what we've got now into next season? Yeah, I mean, uh, coming in sh such short notice... Um, not been able to change too much, um, just some stuff around the place and not much on the field. So um, I'm just looking forward to this weekend, um, trying try to, um, you know, after the disappointment of uh, last week, try, trying to get this uh, this game won at weekend at, at Halifax, which is uh, be a massive task for us. But really excited about pre-season and, and seeing what the boys have gotten, probably take them to a, a different place that they might have been uh, mentally and physically before and share the court with, with a few different things. Um, but uh, it's been an enjoyable experience so far. Uh, some disappointments over the last few weeks, but uh, everyone's bought in and I'd just like to thank everyone at, at the club and all the backroom staff, the two coaches I brought up, Rob the kit man and Chris the ground man and physio Faz and the two rubbers, Mick and Woody, uh, have all embraced us coming in and been fantastic around the club. So. Um, obviously a massive game this week and then we, we kick on and can plan and we've already planned our pre-season for next year and really looking forward to again knuckle down. Missy, congratulations, try of the year award as voted by the fans of Featherstone Rovers. Yeah, um, wasn't expecting it, um, you know, I scored some tries this year and um, yeah, just didn't really expect it because I haven't played much games but I'm um, very uh, honoured and uh, just thankful for the award and um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a great award to, uh, to uh, achieve, to be honest. And that try that, it, that won you the award, it was uh, the Superman dive, but you've done a few of those this year. Have you practised a lot on those? Well, we have been doing some training on it, so uh, yeah, practice makes perfect. But yeah, I think that was my first one out of the Superman, so um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of enjoying them. Uh, but yeah, just scoring the tries and um, trying to get the wins is the uh, most important thing, so that's first, yeah. John, Players Player of the Year, just tell us what that means to you. Yeah, it means a lot. Um, you know, it's uh, an award for, you know, over the course of the year and it's voted by, voted by my fellow peers, so um, for me it's probably the best accolade you can get. Three awards, you more or less cleared the awards tonight. Yeah, I'm uh, really happy with it, yeah. It's uh, nice to be recognised that season we've had and feel uh, happy with it, yeah. So you got Rookie of the Year. Uh, top try scorer of the year and supporters player of the year. Is there any that you're more pleased about or are you just pleased with all of them? Yeah, I was pleased with um, all of them to be fair, but um, supporters player of the year, they come and watch us, they pay money to watch us and to be voted by them, it's a really nice feeling, yeah. But how did you feel that the 2017 season went for you personally? I was a bit up and down. Um, uh, you know, coming back, I thought um, I would go get straight back into it, but, uh, you know, my body and that wasn't really adapting to the fast track because um, it just hit it real fast. So uh, it took me a couple of weeks to get back into it, but then I got a swing of it. It just then I went back down and it's up and down. So um, just can't wait for the new season to be honest, because you start off um, you know scratch free and then um, be hitting every you know preseason games that that come along. So I think that was the the most uh, important thing is that I miss all those preseason games uh, coming into the season, but. To be honest, I'm, I'm happy where we are um, as a club and as a team. Uh, you know, we got a game on Sunday where we need to win, and that's the talk. But it, um, Sunday's game is gone, so that's all we're concentrating on. 2017, uh, how do you feel it's been as a season for you personally and the club? Uh, personally, for me, I think um, I've probably played my best rugby uh, this season. 
Um, had quite a lot of performances I've been pleased with. And uh, in terms of, you know, for the club as a whole throughout the year, um, I think we've built on what we achieved last year and, you know, it's going in the right direction. And to get those three awards in your first full season with Featherstone Rovers, that's uh, pretty impressive as well. Yeah, I weren't expecting to play, to be fair. I got told I'm going to go to York on loan, so got my chance and hopefully I just wanted to keep staying in the team and just have my goal every week, staying in the team, and then just escalated from there. Yeah, it's gone all right. And it's 2018 about building even further under uh, the coaching of John Duffy? Yeah, um, everybody's looking forward to it. Um, you know, we'll get to spend some real time on the training paddock to, you know, fine tune and, you know, achieve what he's wanting to do with us. Um, you know, it, unfortunately, it's, we've had a, it's been a bit short this time we've had with John, um, and probably you know not at the right time. But um, we've all bought into what he's trying to trying to you know implement here at the club. And uh, you know, in spells we've looked really good. I mean, we've scored some really good tries when you look back at these uh, middle eights games. But um, you know, it'd be good to get uh, a lot of hours in um, and start the season really well next year. Are you looking forward to a rest now at the end of a long season, but then getting fresh for for close season? Yeah, it's been a long season. We started the uh, first game last in December, Boxing Day, so it's took its toll now. So yeah, I want to get a win at Halifax and hopefully have a couple of weeks off and then back into it for next year. And the Championship League for the 2018 season in itself, um, there's a lot for fans to get excited about, isn't there? You know, that the Championship League gets more exciting year on year with new clubs coming in. We've got Toronto coming in, possibly... Well, it's definitely a Super League team coming down, uh, be it Lee, Widnes or Catalan. Yeah, it gets tougher each year and the competition gets better. Um, Toronto have had a fantastic year and they'll kick on now and um, obviously another full-time team there and there's going to be a Super League team dropping down in, into our division as well. So um, we, we can't have a minute off and uh, we'll have to be on the money every week next year. So the off-season's massive for us being a part-time club. Um, and we're really looking to, to build and um, come out the blocks firing next year. Um, and with the uh, calibre of players that they're bringing into the team, it's awesome. Um, you want to play against the best, to be honest. Um, you know, I still think we're better than those teams and that um, we just haven't brought the best out of us. But um, yeah, looking forward to Toronto. Um, it's going to be a challenge next year. I think a lot of the teams um, uh, that are coming into it, um, yeah, they're looking strong. Um, Toulouse, you know, they'll bounce back. Um, so it's going to be real tough, you know. Um, a lot of the juice beer, I think, um, are going to hit back stronger than this year. So uh, it is going to be a difficult um, game uh, season next year. But you know, we've got to take game by game, and you know, we've got to win those games that we we must win. Yeah, um, you know, year on year, this competition's getting harder. Um, I said at the start of the, the, start of the year, um, at the shirt presentation, it was going to be a tough one. Um, you know, Toulouse, they were a good side and they missed out right at the end. Um, so, you know, it's going to be an even harder next year. You know, Toronto, they're looking to spend a load of money and be full time. So I think they're kind of hoping they're just going to walk it. But, you know, I th I'm sure everybody else, you know, in the competition will have something else to say about that. Yeah, it's good to see the game expanding. But it's obviously a long trip for fans, players and that. So. It'll be an experience either way, but hopefully yeah, it'll be a positive one. It'll be a good chance at lads to get together and have a week away and uh, bond together. and Hopefully we'll go well and get some points over. And how important is it for you as a coach and the team to get all the fans behind? And uh, what would your message be to those fans for next year? Yeah, well, at the minute it's uh, obviously a bit disappointing if I was a fan. Uh, you know, I'd feel the same as probably most of them do at the minute, but uh, there's exciting times to come. Um, we're looking, you know, we're going to have a big off season. We, we've signed some fantastic quality players, which um, they'll find out about soon. Some more coming in, so um, hopefully they can get behind us and, and really push us forward.